Okay. So, next uh, so previous example is little bit of uh, you know nothing to be confused actually just see very carefully it is it is a it, this example is a very unique example actually and just uh, just you try yourself to derive that thing and uh, most of the things I have derived and I told you how to do it, but if we give elaborate uh, your uh, derivation then it will it will not be it will be very you know lengthy procedure and it will consume more time in a video course a video lecture class right. So, next is that your simplified model with Amherst neglected right. So, first we will we'll take a simplified model. So, with the Amherst neglected the stator voltage equation that is equation 192 and 193 are unchanged, but the remaining equation 121 to 131 simplify as follows right. So, your what you call that your from equation 121 to 131 so total 11 equations right. So, because we are neglecting the Amherst terms if you do so this is not required for you this is for my reference right. So, psi d is equal to ok let me move let me move little bit up. So, flux link is first. So, so, psi d is equal to minus L d i d plus L a d i f d with Amherst neglected this is not for you this is for my reference right. So, psi q is equal to minus L q i q this is equation 197 and psi f d is equal to minus L a d i d plus L f f d i f d this is equation 190 all these nomenclatures all these nomenclatures have been given before. So, right. So, next is the rotor voltage equation with Amherst neglected. So, in the in here E f d will be P psi f d plus R f d i d right or this P psi f d or P psi f d is equal to just rewrite this equation is equal to E f d minus R f d i f d this is equation 199 this is not required this is for my reference right. So, next we will make that alternative form of machine equations because we have to make it in that block diagram whatever you have started started it will slowly and slowly it will block diagram will grow later you will see. Now, alternative form of machine equation now equations 196 to 198 this will write little bit different way are often written in terms of the following variables right that is E i we define a variable E i E suffix capital I is equal to L a d i f d that is voltage proportional to i f d right. Another term we write capital E q dash is equal to L a d upon L f d psi f d that is voltage proportional to psi f d. Another term we write capital E f d L a d upon R f d into your E f d that is voltage proportional to E f d because we have to simplify we have to simplify the whole mathematical uh, derivations right. So, we represent like this. So, so in terms of the new variables equation 196 will become that means, whatever whatever we have seen here equation 196, 197 and 198 right all these things in terms of new variables it will become that your psi d will be minus L d i d plus E i this is equation your this is equation 200 right. So, this is not required this is for my reference. So, and multiplying equation 198 you multiply equation 198 by L a d upon L f f d right and throughout and expressing in terms of the new variables then you will get E q dash will be minus L a d square upon L f d L f f d i uh, i d plus E i you just equation 198 multiplied both side by L a d upon L a f f d and then you simplify and whatever assumptions we have made right and then you can get E q dash will be minus L a d square upon L f f d i d plus E i this is equation 201 right. So, now, this one, this one we cannot we, we your what you call we cannot we are not interested to prove this one right. So, you assume L square A d upon L f d L d minus L d dash this is actually it can be 
derivation is there, but I will skip that one. We will assume that L square A D upon L F, L F D L D minus L D dash right. And when you listen to the lecture, if you if you need the your what you call that uh, explanation of this one, then we will put it into the forum right. But otherwise what will happen the continuity of this uh, your topic will be lost right. That is why L square A D upon L F D it is L D minus L D dash like your X D double dash, X D dash sub transient, transient, steady state reactances right. So, it can be proved L D minus L D dash. So, L square A D upon L F F D. So, but if you have anything you put in the forum we will explain, but here uh, we will we'll not then continue it will be lost right. So, that is why I have written we know L square A D upon L F F D is equal to L D minus L D dash this also you should keep it in your memory right. So, if it is so then E Q dash it can be written as E i that is capital E suffix capital I minus in bracket L D minus L D dash I D this is equation 202 right this is other things for my reference right. Now, what you do now multiply equation 199 by L A D upon L F F D throughout right I mean left and left uh, I mean left and right side both right. If you do so if you do so then we have that is P into L A D upon L F F D psi F D is equal to L A D upon R F D into R F D upon L F F D E F D minus R F D upon L F F D L A D into I F D right or this term this term we have assumed no, e, e, this thing is, it will be P E Q dash will be equal to 1 upon actually T D O 0 dash into E F D minus E I and this is your uh, this is T D O dash is equal to L F F D upon R F D. Uh, I am not telling you know this term. So, this is, is question to you what is what is your T D O dash it is time constant of course, but what is the full form right it is time constant. So, this is a small question to you that T D O dash is equal to L F F D upon R F D right and if you multiply and simplify this will this equation will simply become that 1 upon T D O dash E F D minus E I this is equation 203 right. So, this is your what you call that your basically it is nothing, but E Q dash dot right. So, now the following is the summary. So, summary is that psi d is equal to minus L D I D plus E I psi q is equal to minus L q I q E q dash will be E i minus in bracket L d minus L d dash I d uh, right and P E q dash will be 1 upon T d o dash in bracket E f d minus E i this is the summary right. Now, phasor diagram for transient condition right. So, in order to do this this is first necessary to express E q dash E i and E q in terms of d and q axis component of terminal voltage and current because we have to we have to this representation that your phasor diagram for transient condition we want. So, if you do so that that your express E q dash E i and E q in terms of d and q axis component of terminal voltage and the current right. So, in per unit x d is equal to L d I told you in per unit reactance and inductance are same. So, from equation 193 and equation 196 right we will write like this. So, we will replace L d L d dash by x d x d dash right. So, it will be something like this that E q that in equation 193 to 196 E q will be psi d minus R a I q this is same as before right. E q will be instead of L d we will write x d minus x d i d plus instead of L a d we will write x a d i f d minus R a I q right because in per unit inductance and reactance are same right. So, E q will be minus x d i d plus capital E suffix capital I minus R a I q this first you will rewrite right. Therefore, we can write therefore, E i is equal to E q plus j x d i d plus R a I q right. Therefore, E i will be E q plus your I mean from this equation E i will be E q plus I mean from this equation it is coming from this equation only here it is writing E i is equal to E q plus x d i d plus R a I q right. Now, multiply both side by j right that is the complex operator. If you do so it will be written that j e i 
plus is equal to j eq plus j x d i d plus j r a i q right. So, in terms of phasor notation then this one can be written as e i tilde is equal to j eq can be written e q tilde right and j x d i d can be written x d i d tilde it is not there this term this term will be actually x d i d tilde right. So, it will be x d i d tilde this j is not there it is when I writing by mistake I made it. So, it will be x d i d tilde and j i q can be made r a i q tilde that means your for your understanding that e i tilde is, is actually j e i right because we have to represent by phasor quantity. Similarly, your small e q tilde is equal to j e q right. Similarly, your i d tilde is equal to j i d right and similarly, your i q tilde is equal to j i q right. So, just to represent that just all, all a, a tilde is given these are phasor quantities. So, this way we can write and this is nothing this is for my reference and this is actually equation 204 right. So, we will go to the just hold on we will go to the next page. So, similarly your for equation 202 right with x d dash is equal to l d dash because I told you in power unit reactance and inductance are same right. Therefore, you can write if it is so that e q dash will be e q plus x d i d plus r a i q minus x d i d plus x d dash i d. So, this x d i d and x d i d will be cancelled that means e q dash will be e q plus x d dash i d plus r a i q. Now, if you multiply both side by j the complex operator. So, it will be j e q dash it will be j e q plus j x d dash i d plus j r a i q. Now, before going to the next page. So, we will define that your same as before the phasor quantity say e q dash your e q dash tilde it is e q dash tilde will be j e q dash right. Similarly, your e q will be e q tilde will be j e q right. Similarly, your i d tilde will be is equal to j i d right and similarly here I am writing that i q tilde will be j i q right. So, because we are multi because we have to represent the your we have to draw the phasor diagram and the transient condition. So, you have to put them in the phasor form. So, that way you can write if you do so then next equation will be in phasor notation it will be your e q dash tilde e q dash tilde is equal to e q tilde I told you this j should not be there it will be x d dash i d uh, the your tilde this should not be there right then plus r a i q tilde this is equation 2 5 this is nothing this is for my reference right. So, that way first we make this one after this we see that the phasors e i tilde and e q dash tilde both lie along the q axis because multiplied by j only right. So, we have also seen that the e q your tilde also lies along the q axis because all we multiplied by j and all are lying actually along the q axis right. So, what you can do is that if you rearrange equation 167 and substitute e i for x a d i f d that go to equation look this is this uh, again and again it is difficult to go back to that equations then this is for my reference nothing required that it is difficult to go back again and again. But when you will uh, when you are reading this uh, um, I mean listening this lecture at that time notes also will be available right. So, everything will be uploaded. So, at that time see the equation 167 other and substituting E i for x a d i f d then you will get E i tilde is equal to E q tilde plus j x d minus x q i d tilde this is very simple thing actually uh, I mean just you put it and you will get it by chance if you stuck somewhere you just put a question to the forum a answers will be given there. Right, absolutely there will be no problem right. So, in that case you will get E i tilde is equal to E q tilde plus j into x d minus x q i d this is equation 206 right. Now, after doing all this figure 19 actually shows the phasor diagram representing 
E q dash tilde, E q tilde and E i tilde given by equation 204, 205 and 206. So, this 204, this equation previous 204 has gone to the previous page, 205 and 206, right. If you draw the phasor diagram, the phasor diagram will, uh, will look like this, right. Uh, I mean just hold on if I can reduce the percentage little bit then all uh, So, here it, it is accommodated right. So, in this case if you see this that this is my q axis for, for my own uh, drawing this is has been taken q axis such that and this is your d axis this is your d axis right. So, the drawing will be the diagram drawing will be your you know, easier way. So, this E i tilde E q tilde E q dash tilde and E q tilde and of course, I q tilde all are your what you call lying on that your q axis right. And if you look into that, that E i tilde is equal to E q plus x d minus x q i d because just now we have seen that E i tilde is equal to E q plus x d minus x q i d. So, this is your this portion is x d minus x q i d and from here to here this is the and this this voltage this voltage is E t tilde right and this voltage is E dash uh, tilde right and this angle that is between your what you call this uh, E E E or what you call that E T tilde and E Q tilde E Q tilde or E I tilde or E Q dash tilde whatever it is this is that your delta I this angle is delta I right this we have seen earlier also and this is the current I to tilde. So, current is lagging from E T right because this is E T tilde and this i t tilde. So, this current is lagging and this is your i d tilde and e d this is d axis right. So, that means this current is i q tilde all are along the q axis. So, if you now and this term this your from here to here from here to here this term is x q i d this we have seen just look at those equ three equation you will get it this term is equal and this term is r a i q right this term is R A I Q I mean from here to here because this is my I T and this is my E T tilde. So, this term is actually this term is R A I Q just see those equations it's, I mean uh, I will uh, simply get it like E Q like E Q dash tilde is equal to E Q tilde plus R A I Q plus X D dash I D all these things are there in the equation. So, I could just see the equation and just make this phasor diagram and this term your J X D I D I T tilde right and from here to here this is j x q your i t your tilde right. So, just see those three equations and just make this phasor diagram this phasor diagram is under transient condition right. So, all these things are drawn just you have to open the notebook and you have to make it right from those three equations. So, uh, just for your reference I have written that E t uh, e t your what you call that you are I am now little bit zooming it. So, E t uh, just hold on. So, E t a tilde is equal to E d plus j e q is equal to E d tilde plus E q tilde this way we write this way we write right. So, whatever has been drawn here and similarly E tilde e, e dash tilde is equal to E t tilde plus R a plus j x d dash i t because you are replace we have uh, we have replaced LD dash by XD dash right I T tilde and E Q dash tilde that is Q X is component of E tilde dash or E dash t, uh, your e, e dash tilde right is equal to E Q tilde plus R A I Q tilde plus J X D dash I D uh, your what you call here here uh, one one thing is there it should not be there it is X D dash I D dash I D tilde right this should not be there. Now, at E q tilde is equal to voltage behind R a plus J x q it is voltage behind R a plus J x q. So, here also one uh, J should not be there it is E t tilde plus R a plus uh, J x q oh no here I have multiplied by this thing sorry sorry here also here also sorry just hold on just hold on here actually it is multiplied. So, R a uh, your what you call your q x is component the E q tilde R a i q plus J x d i d your tilde right and similarly your this thing your E q tilde voltage behind R a plus it is E t tilde plus R a plus J x q i t. So, it is E q tilde plus R a i q no this should not be there it is correct it is correct right it is correct because we are making already i d tilde and this is i q tilde and this is i d tilde 
and this is i q tilde e q tilde all are in phasor quantity right. So, this j should not be there. So, similarly your e i uh, this thing your tilde is equal to e q tilde plus j x d minus x q i d tilde right. So, this is your figure 19 that is this is the figure 19 right and uh, this is your synchronous machine phasor diagram in terms of e q e i and e q dash right. So, that is your uh, what you call that is your phasor diagram and this is your x q and uh, this is i d let me have a look x d i x q i t da i t tilde. So, this is the phasor diagram. Now, next is that constant flux linkage model right for uh, studies in which the uh, constant flux linkage model. So, before going to cross uh, your constant flux linkage model I will suggest that just have a look all these things once again right and throughout all the derivations are there it is basically you know that power system dynamics control course is basically synchronous machine course and it may huge mathematics is involved later we will see much more mathematics right. If you see by chance if I had made any error uh, even uh, anything is there you please put the question in the forum so that I can rectify myself right. So, this is one thing. So, so many things we have made J operator and other thing if you see anywhere I have made any error or anything you just please your what you call put that in the forum right. So, next is constant flux linkage model. So, for studies in which the period of analysis is small in comparison to TDO dash the machine model is often simplified by assuming E q dash or the psi f d constant throughout the steady state period right. Now, this assumption eliminates the only differential equation associated with associated with the electrical characteristics of the machine. A further approximation which simplifies the machine model significantly is to ignore transient saliency by assuming x d dash is equal to x q dash and to assume that the flux linkage psi 1 q associated with the q axis rotor circuit corresponding to x q dash also remain constant right because we are going for your constant flux linkage model right. Now, with the uh, with this uh, with this assumptions the voltage behind the transient impedance that is r a plus j x d dash has a constant magnitude right. The d and q axis equivalent circuit with only one circuit in each axis are shown in figure 20 right. So, if you if you the d axis d and q axis equivalent circuit with only one circuit in each axis are shown in figure 20, 20. that means this actually uh, it is uh, analogous to your what you call the DC circuit that this is psi d when I was showing arrow means it is positive and no arrow means it is negative and this is psi a d and this is actually this is uh, uh, this is actually psi f d and current through this actually i f d minus i d right and this is actually plus minus this is psi f d and this is l f d. So, it is it is something like your uh, what you call that analogous to DC circuit. So, this is d axis and this is q axis this is psi 1 q this is l 1 q and this is psi a q this is psi q and this is i q and this is l l and this is also capital L suffix l and this current is i d this current is i q and this is actually l a d right. So, the d and q axis equivalent circuit with one rotor, rotor circuit in each axis I mean whatever equations we have seen before this way you can represent I mean if you can put the circuit like this. So, it will be analogous to the DC circuit right. So, from this also I mean from this also you can write all the equation for example <coughs> sorry for example, psi a d will be l a d into i f d minus i d right and you can apply k v l also if you apply k v l for example, if you apply k v l say here here if you apply k v l. So, it will be l l i d plus psi d minus psi a d is equal to 0 this equations you have seen and similarly if you write psi a d from here it will be l a d into i f d minus i d right and here also you can apply the in the in this in this mesh also you can apply k v l right. 
So, whatever equations you have written this way you can repre you can represent the circuit right. So, now the power unit flux linkage identified in the d axis is given by your psi a d is equal to minus L a d i d plus L a d i f d that means this one this one we are right directly you can write psi a d is equal to L f d into i f d minus i d then you multiply and you simplify it will be psi a d is minus L a d i d plus L a d i f d. Similarly, psi d will be I told you the k v l that psi a d minus L l i d and similarly, psi f d will be psi a d plus L f d i f d. I mean here I mean here there should not be any confusion here this current is i f d they actually this in this branch current is i f d minus i d. Now, if you apply your k v l right if you apply k v l say anti clockwise then your it is L f d then your i f d L f d i f d plus L a d then i f d minus i d this term then minus psi f d is equal to 0 because this plus this is minus minus psi f d is equal to 0 and you simplify right. So, if you do so if you do so you will get psi f d is equal to psi a d plus L f d i f d this is equation your what you call 209. So, this is this is nothing this is for my own reference this is nothing this is 270 207 208 209 right and from equation 209 from this equation you can write i f d is equal to psi f d minus psi a d upon l f d this is equation 210 right. So, if you substitute in equation uh, this one in equation 207 that means, this equation you substitute for i f d if you do so you will get psi a d is equal to minus l a d i d plus l a d upon l f d in bracket psi f d minus psi a d right. So, therefore, we simplify this one we can write this equation like this that psi a d is equal to l a d dash in bracket minus i d plus psi f d upon l f d this is equation 200. 11 right uh, just hold on. So, this is for my own reference this is nothing for you. So, where L, you put it and simplify you will get L a d dash you can write 1 upon uh, 1 upon 1 upon L a d plus 1 upon L f d and this is nothing, but your L d dash minus your L l this is equation 12 right. Similarly, for the q axis I mean for this circuit Similarly, for the q axis again you apply k v l you please do yourself right. Uh, I mean so all these things are derived before, but just we have put it that you are at the analogous DC analogous circuit right for that flux linkage equation. So, this is from this uh, your what you call from this figure only you can get like this right this one. Similarly, for the q axis only that from that figure you write those equation and simplify you will get psi a q is equal to l a q dash in bracket minus i q plus psi 1 q upon l 1 q this is equation 200 your 13 right this is this is nothing this is for my reference. So, here l a q dash is equal to l d dash minus l l right same as before. So, from equation 190 the d x stator voltage is given by E d is equal to minus r a i d minus omega psi q we go back to equation 190 right. So, and therefore, E d is equal to minus R a i d plus omega and psi q is equal to L l i q minus psi your what you call psi a q from that q axis that your analogous circuit diagram is there from there just you apply k v l that psi q is equal to is equal to L l i q minus psi q this is from figure 20 I have written here that means from here that means from this figure from here right from this figure you apply it will look it will if you apply k v l I am telling from my mouth it will be l l into i q plus psi q minus psi a q is equal to 0 from there you substitute right from there you substitute that your this thing uh, this is that is why it is written from figure 20 and where omega is equal to omega r is equal to omega 0 say 1 per unit all are same. So, if you and substituting for psi a q from equation 213 right you do this you will get psi uh, your what you call 
that this is nothing, this is no, you need not, uh, you, this is nothing for you, this is no need, no need, right. You better you skip this one, go to the next page, this is nothing for you, right. So, go to next page, then you will see that E d will be is equal to minus R A I d plus omega L, uh, L L I q minus omega L A q dash in bracket minus I q plus psi 1 q upon L 1 q, right. Or you will see E d is equal to minus R A I d plus omega in bracket L L plus L A q dash I q minus omega L A q dash in bracket psi 1 q upon L 1 q or, or it can be written as minus R A I d plus x q dash i q plus e d dash. Okay. So, next is phasor diagram for transient conditions, right. So, in order to do this, it is first necessary to express that e q dash, e i dash and e q, right, in terms of d and q axis components of terminal voltage and current, right. So, we know that in power unit that reactance is equal to inductance. So, x d is equal to l d. Therefore, from equation 193 and 196, right. So, whenever whenever uh, you will go through it that all the previous lecture notes will be available to you. So, uh, immediately you will open that equation 193 and 196 right. So, E q will be a small E q will be psi d minus R A I q right or E q is, is equal to substitute expression for psi d right previously we have derived that. So, minus x d i d plus x a d i f d minus R A I q right. So, this term small e q is equal to minus x d i d plus capital E suffix i minus r a i q right. Therefore, we can write that e i this this e i is equal to capital E i is equal to e q plus x d i d plus r a i q right. Now, question is that multiply both side by j. If we do so, it will be j e i is equal to j e q plus j x d i d plus j r a i q. Now, now in terms of phasor notation, in terms of phasor notation your then basically it is E i. So, whenever we are doing this I mean before explaining this one right just hold on uh, before explain, explain, explanation of this one oh, we will go to the next page right. So, multiply both side by j. So, it is matter that j means that is your q axis actually leading the d axis by 90 degree right. So, whenever you make it so, basically E i E i tilde is equal to your is equal to your E i right this is angle 90 degree that is nothing but your J E i right J E i right. So, similarly your E q tilde also is equal to your E q angle 90 degree. So, J E q, but this is this J will be there J x d i d because your i d actually if q actually leading the your what you call the d axis by 90 degree. So, that is why if this i d tilde then your this i d tilde will be equal to i d then angle is what because i d is uh, q your q is leading that is uh, your what you call i d if you take that your i d is the reference one then it will be angle 0 right, but this j should be there from the phasor notation and i q also this i q also along the q axis. So, it is j i q we are taking that is your i q angle 90 degree. So, it will be actually j x d i d tilde right and if you think that i d is the your d axis is the reference one the q is actually leading the d axis. So, this j should be there right in the phasor uh, in the in terms of phasor notation. So, next uh, we will go to the next next one phasor diagram right. So, now from equation 202 uh, with x d dash is equal to l d dash therefore, e q dash can be written as your e q then you if, then it will be plus x d i d plus r a i q minus x d i d plus x d dash i d dash. So, x d i d and x d i d will be cancelled therefore, e q dash will be e q plus x d i d plus r a i q here also you multiply both side by j. So, in that case it will be j e q dash is equal to j e q plus j x d dash i d plus j r a i q right. So, in phasor notation from the same philosophy right from the same philosophy this j should be there. So, it is e q dash tilde is equal to e q small e q tilde plus j x d dash i d plus r a i q tilde that means your here I am making it that means your e q dash e q dash tilde is equal to basically your 
E q dash E q dash and angle 90 degree that is J E q dash this is J E q dash similarly for small E q tilde right similarly for I q tilde and I told you that Q x is leading the this one. So, it will be J x dash I d tilde. So, this is your phase and this is for my reference nothing this is equation 205 right. Now, we see that just hold on let me clear it. So, we see that the phase are uh, just hold on we see that the phase are E i tilde and E q dash tilde both lie along the Q axis. We have also seen that E q tilde also lies along the Q axis just on the previous page. So, rearranging equation 167 right. So, if you that is and substituting E i for x a d x a d i f d right we get that E i tilde you go back to equation uh, 167 and you in your x a d i f d you replace by E i then you will be E i tilde will be E q tilde plus j x d minus x q i d tilde this is equation 206 right. So, figure 19 shows the phase representing E q dash tilde then capital E q tilde then E i tilde given by equation 204, 205 and 206. Now, if you draw the phase node diagram this is your q axis this is your d axis. So, this is for easy understanding this thing q axis actually leading the d axis by 90 degree. So, this is your capital E i tilde look at that all these things right. So, E i just now we have seen no equation 206 E i tilde is equal to E q tilde plus x d minus x q into i d right. Similarly, your this is your E q tilde this is E q dash your tilde right. So, it is basically E q tilde small E q tilde plus R a i q plus x d dash i d right and from here to here this distance is x q i d and this is that your uh, current i t tilde right and, and this is your voltage E t tilde and this is this portion is R a i t tilde this portion is x d i t dash your tilde into j and this is your E dash tilde and this is your j x q i t tilde right. So, this is the and this angle is delta i earlier we have explained about delta i and this is your q axis component i q tilde of i t dash this is i q axis component and d axis component for this one it is i d tilde right. Similarly, for your e t the d axis component e d tilde direct axis component and for e t tilde it is e q tilde right and this this one your x axis component is your r a i q right. So, this is the complete phase notation from this your 3 equation 204, 5 and 6 previous page 204 is there this is 205 and here also j, j should be there this j should be there right this j should be there this is phase notation. So, so that is why your uh, this is your uh, that means here uh, at the bottom the E t tilde is given E d plus j q E q is equal to E d tilde plus E q tilde. So, I told you previously E q tilde is nothing but j E q similarly E dash tilde is E t tilde plus R a plus j x d dash I t tilde. So, most of the cases actually you will find R a is very small right and it is neglected. So, I will suggest one thing that neglect R a and read all the phase diagram just neglect R a and and E q dash tilde is Q x is component of your E dash tilde right. So, it is E q tilde look at the phase diagram everything is given the R a I q tilde plus j x d dash i d tilde right because I because this j should be there because if you take that i d is a reference the i d tilde will be actually i d angle 0 degree right. So, an E q tilde will be voltage behind R a plus j x q that is also given it is E t tilde plus R a plus j x q i t that is E q tilde plus R a i q plus j x q i d all these things are given in the phase diagram and this equation is also shown and E i tilde is equal to E q tilde plus j x d minus x q i d tilde this is the summary of this phase diagram all the equation and this is synchronous machine phase diagram in terms of E q E i and E q dash I think this portion is now understandable for this phase diagram right just see those equation 204, 205 and 206 and just see how it has been drawn. The way you draw the single phase AC circuit or three phase AC circuit phase diagram right. The way you draw a single phase AC circuit phase diagram only three equations you put in front of you and just see how it is drawn. Uh, so, automatically you can easily draw this phase diagram ok. So, next will be this constant next it will be your uh, constant flux linkage model ok.